What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the Kansas Angling Experience channel. Hope you guys can hear me okay. The wind is absolutely ripping out of the south southwest today. This is kind of my punishment for not fishing yesterday like I should have. I just really, I just needed a day to just kind of like mentally reset. Got a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, so just needed to take the day off, but decided to come out today, Friday, and try and fight the wind. Try and get another video out for you guys because, I don't know, maybe by the time you guys see this video, uh, if not very very close to we will have hit or about to hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel which is just absolutely mind-blowing to me this channel has gained so much crazy momentum over the last month or two so I really can't thank you guys enough for watching these videos and if you're not already subscribed definitely please hit the subscribe button like the video leave a comment down below we are doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway which will probably be in the next video seeing that we'll probably hit 10,000 subscribers probably overnight to be honest honest uh giving away a pc fun viper x spinning reel whatever size you want all you've got to do to be entered in that giveaway is just be subscribed to the channel make sure your uh, subscriptions are public leave a comment down below and like the video but yeah today seeing as though we are pretty and by pretty i mean extremely limited as to where we can fish it doesn't look that windy back behind me but if we get away from this tree line right here uh, the wind is blowing probably close to 25, 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 40. It's going to make some things a little bit difficult, but I think my main goal today is to try and teach you guys on these Garmin Echomap UHD units how to properly identify fish. Now I know a lot of this is gonna be on kind of like a lake to lake or region to region basis, depending on what kind of fish you have in your lake. It's a little bit different for me as well because I see these fish all the time and I fish for these fish every day and I pretty much know what everything looks like. I really wanted to do a crappie only video today, but seeing as we're kind of like limited to one small little area tucked out of the wind. I've got a few spots over here, a few things in mind so i don't know if it's going to be you know if we're going to find crappies if we're going to find white bass if we're going to find wipers i'm not sure but biggest thing is just helping you guys get dialed into these garmin echo map units because you know before like last year the year before there was really nothing on youtube as far as tutorials or things to help people out with these units and that's kind of something that i'm trying to do on this channel as well as fish and teach you guys about the units themselves and uh, just how to fish seeing that i'm a full-time fishing guide also so yeah we're just going to kind of make our way down this bank here maybe hit a couple brush piles or at least scan over them show you guys what i'm seeing show you a couple little tips and tricks in the echo map units definitely get up there and fish and uh, go over some live scope stuff too so let's just do a little bit of scanning and talk about what we're seeing and go from there so I guess just kind of right off the bat on my echo map unit, especially here at the console, my main screen is probably just going to be your standard clear view and map. You can always set your, uh, your favorite combos on the right side of the unit here. Typically, I'll usually run like map on the left side with 2D sonar and down scan right on top of each other. But today I think we're just going to go with uh, regular clear view. As you guys can see on the map here, I've got my depth shading set. That's a really neat feature in the Echo Map units uh, that's fairly new is being able to set depth shading. Just kind of let you know what depths you're working with in a particular area if you want to target one specific depth. And as far as all of my uh, settings go in the unit itself, I've got uh, another video on both the regular Echo Map Plus unit and the Echo Map Plus UHD on the channel. I'll link the UHD one right up here so you guys can see that if you haven't already. But yeah, we're just kind of looking around we're just scanning just taking a look at the bottom and seeing uh, seeing what we can see so when I find something you'll be the first to know and we're gonna take a look at it all right so here we're coming up a uh, little break right there you can see the break that is a giant pile let me go ahead and pause this real quick so we can take a look at it here but coming up this break line got a big pile of fish right here one thing with the let me go ahead and spot lock too now that we've got this image here, let me show you like one of the new tricks with these units with the new update that came. So if we go down to, we've got our fish here, we've already hit pause, so that image isn't going anywhere. Let's go to menu and then hit your zoom button. Normally it was just on like an auto or bottom lock or manual zoom, but now in these units, you've got the magnify option. So when you touch that button, it selects, it makes it green. So now we're getting ready to magnify our zoom. So now what you can do is with this little box right here, 
Go and zoom in on those fish. This is one of my favorite, favorite things about this. You've got your little magnification box. You can zoom right in on those fish. Probably not gonna be able to tell what they are right away, but given that there is some mass to those fish and they are packed right on top of each other, they could be white bass, they could be crappies, little too big to be shad i mean it could be a giant pile of shad but so now what i'm going to do is now i have this magnification placed right in that crosshairs on the cursor i'm going to go ahead and hit mark that's now made our waypoint on that group of fish directly on that group of fish so now i can just take my boat and go right back to that setup right over the top of them and i think because that one looks so good i think we're just going to go right back there and fish them so let's get the uh, boat situated over those fish we'll get live scope down second GoPro rigged up, see what they are. I have a feeling that they're gonna be white bass, but there might be some crappies mixed in too, so we'll just see. All right, well, I've got live scope down, as you can see here, and we are right over the top of these fish. I'll kind of zoom in so you can see, but that's that big group of fish that we marked. There is kind of like a little bit of a tree right there, but you can see that bottom is very, very alive swimming around so seeing that those fish aren't really gonna move i don't think they're pretty well glued to the bottom which is uh what white bass and wipers and stuff do a lot of times in the winter time let me just go over some of the settings i have a whole nother video on uh, my live scope settings and stuff but i feel like before we start fishing this is probably a good opportunity to go over what i use especially in this situation to get the clear picture that i do sorry for the glare i know that's pretty bad but just to start here uh since we've already got this group of fish pinned down i'm only scanning out 25 feet right now usually if i'm looking for fish or something i'll usually keep it between like 45 and 50 feet and then once i find them i'll dial it back down to like 20 or 25 it is going to give you a much better picture of those fish Oop, we don't want to quite go to 80 feet but that's usually where i start right around 25 feet our depth right here is 24 feet so my depth is currently set at uh, 35 I could probably get it down to 30, but what I like to do, especially when I'm fishing these fish, is just zoom in a little bit, just kind of with that pinch situation. You get the window right up there that shows you that you're zoomed in. That way you can see those fish a lot better and you can see those jigs go down your screen a lot better. So now let's kind of jump into the menu here. Uh, first thing you want to notice is that my gain is set right around 62. That's usually a good middle of the road, I feel. I think a lot of guys stay in between that like 60 to 65 range, depending on uh, what software you're running. So my gain is best set at 62. Now let's run into the sonar setup. You guys can see I'm just running that standard amber color. That's kind of what I've been comfortable with. Uh, color gain, this is huge. You guys always want to keep your color gain right around that 80 to 85. That's going to make all those fish down there, especially your baits, pop a lot more and it's gonna fill in all of that. I mean, you guys can see as we lower the color gain, it may be kind of tough to tell right off the bat, but you're just not gonna be able to see quite as much. You can definitely still see the fish, but when it comes to following your jigs all the way down, you really do wanna keep that in that 85 range. That's a question I get asked a lot. Well, I've got all my settings right, but I can't see my jigs. That's because you need to ch change your color gain and bump that up to about that 85 zone. So then on the sonar setup screen again, go into noise reject. I keep my noise reject on high. You guys can see how it changes the picture. Get the ghost tree right there, low, medium, high. I usually keep it on high. TVG kind of does the same thing, time varying gain. Uh, you guys can see how if we have that off. It's a little bit tougher to tell right now because we're in deeper water, but when you're in shallow water, when you turn that TVG, low, medium, or high, you're gonna get more or less gain in there. So like I said, I always just generally leave mine off. So that's kind of just a quick rundown on my live scope settings. As you guys can see, they are just absolutely piled up on the bottom right there. I've got to get the second GoPro rigged up and get a couple baits down there. Like I said, I have a feeling they're gonna be white bass and not so much crappies considering we're not near any trees, but from where we're sitting right here, all the way 20 feet we're literally right up towards the bank over there is just like a massive line of a foot of fish so let's just grab a couple little jigs and get them down there and see what happens got him Thank <laughs> you. 
Plockton. Confirmed school of whites. That's what they look like. Oh, this is terrible. We are just getting blown around like you would not believe. It's super annoying. <laughs> it's so fun getting them up off the bottom like that. Can barely even see them. Everything feels huge on these 10 footers. Oh. Winter white bass. Week before Christmas. Got piles of them. Oh, he was swimming away with it the whole time. Couldn't feel anything because the wind is blowing 100 miles an hour. Should have looked at live scope. Oh. Well, this isn't a terrible time. It's only slightly annoying. But just goes to show, mark a bunch of fish and get on top of them and see what they are. And then you know later on that that's what they look like. It's pretty easy. <laughs> that was pretty instant. Pretty instant. There are a freaking pile of them down there. Just a pile of them. But I kind of pitched that jig out a little bit and got it down close. Caught his ass. Do the same thing. Pitch it out there. Might be out just a little bit too far out of the scope because I've got it zoomed in right away and oh already have one on <laughs> he was way out there that is a stack of fish and they're not big but they're all pretty fun on these 10 foot dipping rods that i normally really don't like but they do serve a purpose get away from the fish but i mean look at that screen down there it looks like the bottom but it's really just all it's all fish <laughs> These are all whites just stacked on top of each other, kind of like we saw in that screenshot. I don't even think we really need live scope. Just like get it down close to them and like pick it up. Jig it once or twice. I can see my jig now. Oh God, just had one come up and crush it. They're active for 38 degree water. Going nuts. Oh. I like that school. It's pretty fun. I don't care who you are. Pretty limited on what we can fish as far as crappies with this wind, but this is definitely making up for it. Got him all the way out there. I kind of zoomed the screen out a little bit. They're freaking losing their minds down there. I feel like I've caught them over here like this before. Like I said, this little, little spot gets pounded by other dudes, especially on the weekends. I don't really, this is not my favorite place to be, but this is about the only place we can be with the wind. Drove over that group of fish and looked like whites to me and sure enough.
Well, that's just uh, gonna about do it for us today. Kind of fun, not quite what I expected uh, as far as species go. White bass are always fun in the winter time. Again, we were really limited with the area that we could fish today. It's like almost five o'clock. The wind is still ripping. It's probably gonna rip all the way overnight uh, until tomorrow morning. But just wanted the chance to uh, go over some more Garmin stuff, some more live scope stuff and uh, catch some fish at the same time. So thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, definitely make sure you subscribe. We're about to hit 10,000 subscribers. For a lot of you guys, I think by the time you see this video, we will have already hit 10,000. So we'll make that a whole separate video as a thank you but that's all i've got make sure you subscribe like the video leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys on the next one